Okay, so I think we're just about ready to release the crystal to start the lockdown sequence that we have to survive in order to get the uh, Dragon Strike controller. So let's do it. So if you are going to attempt this, make sure you have some really good weapons, plenty of ammo and a decent gobble gun that will help you out. So in this case, we've got the um, Death Machine gobble gun. And you do get a max ammo that spawns in front of where the pack punch is. I recommend grabbing that um, sometime after the second wave. So there's four waves you have to survive. And what happens for the first three waves is only one side of the house will actually open up and uh, be attacked by zombies. The other areas will be uh, shuttered and locked down. Here we go. And you get manglers, as you can see. You get a ton of manglers that will attack you and stuff like that. Uh, for the fourth and final wave that you have to survive, um, they will come from all sides of the house. And uh, you can use stuff like the MG, but solo, it's not super practical, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> for obvious reasons, but... Um, the other downside is that you don't get any points at all, which is really annoying because otherwise you would have tons of points at the end of this pack a punch with, but, um, uh-oh. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is you do get a lot of manglers that spawn in for this lockdown sequence, and because we have to uh, shoot um, a lot of mangler helmets and arm cannons to unlock the secret mangler helmet, um, I'm going to be using the opportunity to try to uh, to get that done, so that's that's actually a good thing. Um, usually at the end of each wave, you have a bunch of manglers slowly still making their way out of the trenches, attacking, so you can take your time uh, picking your shots with them and stuff like that. Okay, let's get ready. Let's back up a little bit here. Put that there. So yeah, it's fairly comfortable, obviously, if you have these things as your weapons, but... Otherwise, if you have like a decent LMG like the Dingo or something else that's really good um, it's got a lot of ammo, then um, what will also help you... Oh, nice! Sounds like we might have unlocked at least one of the challenges for the Mangler Helmet there, maybe the Headshot one. So I'll try and shoot their arm cannons off now. Because I think you have to shoot like five helmets and five arm cannons to get the Mangler Helmet. Um, that's my understanding of it anyway. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, you want to make sure that uh, if you don't have like these things, make sure you have electric cherry and or uh, Widow's Wine because that will be really, really helpful uh, while you're reloading to slow the zombies up or even kill them for you. Okay, we don't need the max ammo just yet. Maybe at the end of this round. Just got a fair bit of ammo left in these things. They do have a lot of ammo, which is awesome. All right, here we go. Let's back up again. Yeah, these are like pretty awesome camping weapons, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, they're they're a decent, decent wonder weapon, that's for sure. They've done a, a pretty good job with these. They look amazing. The reload is incredible. I don't know about the name, like, it's a really weird, not very interesting name, if you know what I mean. But oh well, you can't have everything. I don't know why they didn't just call them the Raygun Mark Threes. Okay, let's take that guy out. Headshots. I'm trying to shoot the arm cannons, but... Okay, let's uh, maybe grab the ammo now. So this should be the final wave. All sides of the house will be open now, so I'm going to camp upstairs. This is probably the best camping spot here. And we'll use one of... Uh, we'll use our last death machine. And uh, we... We will have um, Valkyries during this final wave, as well as Manglers and Zombies. Let's try and take as many out as we can with the uh, death machine. Should take care of them pretty quickly. Oh man. You can't really back up very far here. And uh, if you use a death machine, you just obviously want to be careful once uh, it starts to run out that you time your moment to switch back to your regular weapons. Because otherwise, especially playing solo, there's a slight delay between switching to your regular weapons. There we go. Well, you have to be careful you don't get overrun. But I would say we took out most of the um, <laughs> final wave with that one death machine. That's why it's uh, such an awesome gobble gum to have. Let's try and shoot that arm cannon. There we go. Alright. There might be a couple of final manglers somewhere. Where are they? Here he comes. 
Oh, man. It's something like Mega Man, the Mega Man Blaster. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. That thing was awesome in, um, in Dead Rising. You could unlock it if you did, if you did, um, it was sort of an Easter egg weapon. Okay, we can pick up our Dragon Strike Controller. So, basically what this does is you can uh, call in an airstrike, or a Dragon Strike in this case. And, um, oh nice. Uh, sounds like we unlocked the, um, the Mangler Helmet. Um, but yeah, basically all the zombies will be attracted to it, and then it will, like, just rain down... Uh, dragon fire on the zombies. It's pretty devastating, but it's not really super useful. Um, I mainly use it for killing the um, the sentinel sentinels in the uh, sentinel rounds in the higher in the higher rounds in this map. Um, it's definitely not mandatory to um, to get them, but kind of fun. Why not? Okay, I think we've only got a few zombies left here. I'm trying to get enough points to pack a punch. Let's just use the shield. Oh, sweet. So, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you heard that um, that ding noise. It sounded like a microwave going off, but basically that means I got uh, a certain number of kills with my zombie shield. And you can actually upgrade your shield pretty easily in this map, so we're also going to do that. Uh, so the first step to upgrading it is to kill a bunch of zombies, either with the melee, this we can pick moment, up our egg. The, the egg us. has incubated. So yeah, um, you kill a bunch of zombies either with the blast or the melee attack with your shield, and that's the first step in upgrading it. And um, uh, we'll get to the next step in upgrading it when we get back to the main part of the map. Let's try to get... we're gonna spend it a little while in the um, pack a punch area here and just try and get enough points to pack a punch while we're here. Let's get a bunch of kills. Still got... I haven't got a lot of ammo but I mean we've still got the Brecky as a backup I guess. And we should be able to pack a punch pretty soon anyway. Yeah, I've got to say, like, the weapon animations in Black Ops 3 are absolutely outstanding. Like, from the very first map that came out, even in multiplayer and stuff like that, like the reload animations, but even for stuff like, um, one of my favorite reload animations is the KRM. It just looks awesome. Like, they've, they've done a sick job <laughs> on the weapons. Um, Except for um, some of the weapon balances in in zombies, I think that the PPS H doesn't feel right. Well, we might try and get that later on in the game. And uh, let's just pack a punch. Why not? Let's pack a punch these things. Then we'll have more ammo. I will never again be yeah, Maelstrom this of Eris, the win. So that's a pretty cool name. At least pack a Even punch. You can't double double pack punch these if you're wandering like most uh, most of the uh, ray guns or wonder weapons. Let's use the MG. Oh god, I have to get off and try and kill this guy at least. That was a waste. That was that was a waste of, uh, of points actually. Well, we did we did use the MG, even if it was only to take out one Mangler. Okay, I got a Sentinel. They have a bit of trouble flying around inside uh, buildings, those things, but I guess <laughs> I guess they manage. There's a lot of crazy stuff in this map, though. Dragons, robots, flying robots. I don't know what those manglers are supposed to be, like cyborgs or something. Uh, they, they've got to be crazy, haven't they? Okay, that's our dragon strikes right there. So you can see, like, um, I probably took out maybe two zombies <laughs> with that thing, but um, there's also, like, uh, you can actually unlock the um, the dragon wings, to some, which is um, sort of along the lines of the helmets that you can unlock in this map. Um, once you, let's just say we can't double pack a punch these. And we don't have enough to pack a punch the brekkie. In fact, I probably don't want to pack a punch that anyway. So we might actually head back to the main area of the map. We've still got to get more perks. Now we have an unquenchable. Um, we've got some. We got some stuff to do still before we get fully set up. 
But yeah, you can unlock the wings. Um, you have to fly the dragon from um, each of the three areas. And you also have to get the um, Dragon Strike controllers and you have to kill a bunch of zombies with them, I believe. So um, that usually gets you the wings. So one of our challenges is still to um, still to catch a dragon from each of the three locations. So we'll probably get the wings unlocked. We'll probably get all of that stuff unlocked just to show you guys in so you have some options there. But they do help. They do help. Probably the main one that I want to get is the Sentinel Helmet. Let's just call that in again, see if we can kill some more zombies with it. So we probably killed about five or six zombies that time. I don't know why it, like, calls in more than one, because the first one kills them all anyway. So yeah, this is basically going to be our main camping spot for later on. Uh, I like this spot here. There's a few different spots you can, um, you can camp at. Pretty much all three of the um, dragon... Um, what would you call them? Dragon stations or whatever they're called. But I like this one because I'll explain why. Basically, there's a trap um, at the top of the stairs here, just to my left, and you can push up and hit that trap mid round, even when you've got a, a bunch of zombies here, usually. Um, so it's quite an expensive trap, but it, and it doesn't really kill most of the zombies because most of them come from the other area. Um, but I'll explain more about that location later. Let's just try and get some more perks. So I'm not super fussy about what I get here. The textures don't spawn in anyway, so it's a bit hard to see what you're getting. That is probably the major complaint I've had. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's probably the major complaint I've had with, um, with all of these maps in Black Ops 3, at least on PlayStation 4. The, um, the pop-in, like the textures popping in, which means basically um, sometimes when you first get into the map, the, the textures will be like worse than last gen consoles. They'll look terrible, right? And sometimes like we saw earlier, you'll have like even parts like for the dragon shield um, won't, will be invisible unless you wait like two or three minutes for them to appear because of the pop-in effect. And... I just think that these maps are just poorly optimized for the PS4 at least. Um, it was the same as Shadows of Evil in some of those maps. But anyway, that symbol up there, guys, here in the supply area, you have to shoot it with a blast from your zombie shield. This is the second step in upgrading your zombie shield. So the first step was kill a bunch of zombies with your zombie shield. The second step, you have to find these three symbols around the map. There's one at the supply depot where we were just there. Uh, the second one, and they all look pretty much the same. The second one is over here at the Dragon Command Center. And it's uh, they're all three of them can be seen from the Dragon Station. So this one is down here in the corner where there's like a table and chairs. So that's the second one that we shot. So you want to make sure you have, you know, your three, three shield blasts up your sleeve. Let's see what we can get here. Great power. Hmm. Yeah, we'll save that for later on. What I might do is just get a ton of points, like 30,000 points later on if we get that far and um, then try and get the monkeys with that so we can get them upgraded. Anyway, the third symbol we have to shoot with our zombie shield blast is here in the tank um, area. So we've shot that one. You hear that little dinging audio cue. So the third and final step is simply to bathe your shield in dragon flame so um, we have to get the dragon to breathe fire on us and sometimes you can get it done in one fire session if, or in one fire breath or whatever you want to call it um, if you soak up all, all the flames um, but sometimes like it might take three or even four it's it's really weird like that uh, I don't know why, but yeah, so <laughs> come on dragon Like literally you can sit here for like five minutes and a dragon won't come Sometimes I find moving between zones helps get to trigger the dragon Yeah, I was like um, I was interested to see how the dragon flame thing would work 
Um, whether it will be super annoying or not, this mechanic that they put in to uh, stop... Uh, I guess it's to stop you sort of camping in one location to move around the map. But um, it's actually... Uh, it's actually really well balanced, to be honest. Like, um, here we go. Let's try and soak up this heat. Soak up that flame, come on. Yeah, basically the shield makes it so you don't really... Oh, there we go, we got it. Nice, we got it in one. So there you go. Usually it takes like at least two or three, but... I don't know. I don't know why. Um... Alrighty, oh, we forgot to uh, we forgot to collect our gauntlet of Siegfried. So this is from. Uh, but first, we'll put the shield in. So all you have to do is click on the guts of the, the dragon, and if we click on the, um, the challenge there for the egg to get the dragon egg, we can pick up the gauntlet of Siegfried, which is the special weapon for this map, and it is awesome, guys. Um, there's our upgraded shield as well. You don't have to pick it back out of the. Um, the guts of the dragon it would automatically appear so it looks like we've still got a bit of work to go here with absorbing fire damage and and um, stuff like that so let's try and absorb some more fire here for that challenge we've already upgraded the shield this is just for the, the regular challenge okay we've got a valkyrie round all right so i think we had to shoot the eyes from these from these things Okay, that one we got. You know if you've done it correctly. Basically, the, the eye is the red part, not the blue part. I think the blue is like a cannon or something like that. I don't know, but the red is the eye that you have to shoot anyway, as you can see. Oh god. So, the, so what happens in the higher rounds, as you can see, is you do get the electrified zombies. The skinny little bastards will start like swamping you. And, um, they spawn endlessly. You don't get any points for them either. Until you kill the last, uh, Valkyrie. Try and get this one. There we go. We must be- there we go! Alright, so we should have the, um, we should have the Valkyrie helmet unlocked. I really hate these electric zombies, they're so annoying. Fortunately, they don't spawn mid-round. At least I don't think they do. <laughs> Once you see my high-round strategy, you'll see why I'm a little bit unsure about what zombies I'm killing. Because it's just like, it's just like obliteration. Alright. Uh, I think this is the last one. Where is he? Stuck? Is he stuck up? The last one... In these higher rounds, the, the last Valkyrie seems to like hide from you so that he can send his electric zombies at you. Let's just check here. We, we must have like one more to get for that challenge. You have made grave mistakes. Okay, I gotta be careful. Gotta shoot him in the eye. Where is he? Get off me, zombie! Stupid electric... They actually do a fair bit of damage as well. Yeah, he's down there in that trench, hiding from me like a coward. Oh god! A napalm electric zombie. <laughs> looked like it was. I think that might have been. Was he on fire as well? It looked like he was. That was weird. Okay. Ah, oh, you stupid! At least we'll get max ammo at the end of this. There we go, we got it. <laughs> Patience pays off. Alright, so basically what this one uh, gives you is it gives you a free perk. So there we get stamina up, which is pretty nice. So now pretty much all I want is uh, Widow's Wine.